Well, hello everyone, hello. This patch right here is kind of the result of some questions that one of my Patreon patrons asked me. And I'm gonna try to say this. Simone Spinozzi. I hope I pronounced it correctly, man. Anyway, thanks for the questions. We were talking about... Actually, the question was about using a keyboard as a means of controlling switching in a patch. And with the, the, the CV from the keyboard that controls the pitch of an oscillator, um, could also be used to control other events and uh, but those events would be tied to specific notes on the keyboard or in this case notes in a sequence i have uh eight bit cipher back behind all of these cables running just taking a clock from the quad clock uh, internally generated with its tap tempo and that's clocking the cipher the cipher is receiving LFO number three from this EMW module uh, if I remember correctly the third one is the fastest one that's the data input now uh, the cipher is generating a melodic sequence based on that data input and then over here the 2win is a window comparator as opposed to a standard comparator which uh, the gate is on when the signal exceeds the threshold the window comparator the gate is on when the incoming voltage matches the threshold so you can have a gate only for a specific note and I've just used the offset of the SPO to generate a just a standard DC voltage and I've tuned that so it responds to one of the notes in the sequence coming from the cipher and every time it fires it triggers the hat and also toggles this switch which is changing that from uh, Tromso triangle output which is going through the AM AWM for some wave folding and then the other one is Platts and one of these uh, particle yeah. modeling one of the rings modes anyway it's switching between those every time you hear hat fire and then um one of the 8-bit cipher gate outputs is triggering t-kick and also um, running one of them through branches to trigger the E950 to say words for us. Word selection is being controlled by one of the random voltages from the 4R. A random voltage is also controlling the uh, trigger density for plats. And I've also got, um, in addition to some of these signals, I'm also sending the comparator output from Tromso, which will be generating a uh, square wave. I'm routing that directly to 
microburst, and microburst is being triggered by the clock. If I turn that up, we get some rhythmical stuff that helps glue the uh, patch together a bit. I'm also using a random voltage to select start positions randomly in a drum loop in the uh, STS over here. And that is being sent directly to the DSP reverb, which I'm also routing a couple of these sounds to. If I turn that up. being gated by uh, two gates from the cipher. Cipher is generating by twiddling the speed of this LFO. Adjusting the uh, voltage coming out of the SPO, I can change at what note that switching occurs. So there are a couple of parameters you can twiddle to actually control this, which would otherwise be a completely hands-free procedural patch. Anyway, although it doesn't incorporate the keyboard, it is kind of inspired 
by Simone's questions. So thanks, man. Uh, thanks for being a patron. Thanks to all, all of my patrons for making this possible. And uh, thank you all for watching. And I'll catch you next time.